This video is about using Photopea to crop for symmetry or for rule of thirds after you've taken a photo. There's a couple of ways to get a photo into Photopea. Both of them are under file. And you can also drag and drop from um, your files at the bottom. So file new lets you search through your photos that you have either in Google Drive or on your computer. Or if you are bringing over a picture from the internet, <coughs> I'm going to take the image address, go back to Photopea, and go File, Open More from a URL, because the image address is the URL. had something in there already, so I'm going to take that out, put the new picture in, and hit OK, and there's your picture. So the crop tool is the tool if you want to change the size of a picture, the orientation, meaning you want it either wider or taller, or you want to range where the main part of your picture, your focal point, should be. It is the on the toolbar, one, two, three, four, five down. You have to click on it so that it is darker and then start by pulling it over your entire picture. When you let go, it's going to show you the rule of thirds grid. And if rule of thirds is what you're cropping for, that's great. But what if you need symmetrical? Well, if you need symmetrical, here is dead center from top to bottom. A symmetrical picture can either be the same on left and the right or top and the bottom. As you can see in this photo, <clears throat> it is already the same side to side. So I don't have to crop this one if I don't want to. But if I wanted to make this a tall picture instead of a wide picture, and I brought one side in, I'm actually going to go from the corner. Uh, I don't like the fact that I tilted it, so I'm going to hit the X. If I want to bring one side in, it's not symmetrical anymore. But if I look at this window right here, I could bring the other side in until it's symmetrical again. And now when I hit the check mark, I have a tall photo instead of a wide photo, and it's symmetrical. You might want to do that if there's something on either side that's very distracting, or if the object looks a lot better in a tall photo. At this point, you would go File. And because we're not doing photo uh, digital photo art, we are doing photography, you would want to go Export As, one of the first two, PNG or JPEG, and then put that away. All right, I'm going to back up. To back up, I go Control Z. And what if I wanted this photo to be a rule of thirds picture, which it definitely isn't right now? I would check to make sure I have my crop tool on, pull it out over the whole photo. And I have four choices. I can put my most important part here, or here, here, or there. In this photo, it doesn't make a whole lot of difference. And I'm just going to play with it until the most important part is in the middle. I didn't like the way that looked, so I'm going to try it a different way. OK, this is looking better to me. I've got the most important part, and it is in the middle of that intersection. Just play with it a little bit until I like it. Hit OK. And do you see what happened there? That means that I let the crop tool go off the top of the photo. It's not hard to fix at all. Just pull your crop out. And then check that all the corners are inside the photo. I'm going to pull this down just a little bit. So all corners are inside the photo. Yes. Hit check mark again. There we go. Rule of thirds photo. Again, file, export as. PNG.